Hi, my name is Barry. I'm here at Rimmer's Music and today I want to give you as brief a tutorial as I possibly can on how to connect the included Bluetooth adapter to the Casio Privia PXS 1100 and get it to work. So if you're struggling or you just want a bit more information, uh, hopefully this will help. Um, hope you enjoy it. Okay, here is the wireless adapter, very small, compact. This is the little dongle that's in the box uh, and included with the Casio PXS 1100 when you buy it. Um, this just fits into the back of the machine uh, and I'll just show you how to do that now. Okay, here we are at the back of the PXS 1100. Uh, take the Bluetooth adapter and plug it into this socket here like that. Okay, um, here we are on our very old uh, Android mobile device. This is an old Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, but if you notice here, it says available devices, WBT10 MIDI. That is the MIDI adapter that we've plugged into the PXS 1100, but you don't connect to it from here. That's the main thing. You don't connect to it from here. It needs to be accessed via the app. So we'll show you that now. Uh, if it's wobbly, it's because I'm trying to look at the uh, two cameras at the same time. So we'll press the home key, go back to the main screen, ignore our doggies. They're a lot older now. Uh, and we'll launch the Cordana Play app, which is on the Play Store. Um, now, what we need to do is you'll see at the bottom it says... Uh, how to connect to a musical instrument. Well, ignore that. Um, click lesson mode. Uh, and then in the top right there, you can see the settings. Oops, going out of focus. Uh, click the settings. And then you'll notice it says Bluetooth MIDI device. Tap on that. It'll search. And we want to connect to the BT10 MIDI. And then we may get a noise from the piano just to signify it's connected. There you go. So that's connected. So we go back in the settings and then we can tap onto the songs, pick a song, load the song, press play. Now the piano's playing the music. You can see it cycling on the screen there, but the piano is actually playing. Okay, and then you can pause, select another song, this is a list of songs, and you can also load MIDI files. So that's connecting the MIDI part. I'll next show you how to do the audio mode. Okay, so um, to play back audio files... Uh, you do need to get it to show in the device list. It doesn't show at the moment. You can see that there's no audio option there. So what you need to do is you need to activate the pairing for the audio on the PXS 1100. Uh, so you notice at the moment there's no option there. Uh, what we need to do is... Uh, hello. Uh, hold the function button down there. The second black key, tap that and make a noise and this little blue indicator light will flash. And then if we go back to our phone, if we have a look here, devices. Now see, available devices, WBT10 audio. So tap on that. Pair with Bluetooth audio. This is the adapter for the PXS 1100. Did you hear that? So that's now paired for audio. So, oh, I'm going to remove the LX706. Sorry. There you go. Okay, so if we go into our... Uh, let's not name any particular apps for play music. Um, but choose your app. And then choose, we'll choose a royalty free playlist, otherwise, we'll get into trouble. It should come through the piano. There you go. So, 
so it's now coming through the piano. And you can still play. Okay, so you can play along with your music as well. And you can control it from your phone. So if I pause, then it pauses the playback. Okay, so I hope you can still see me. Um, so my name is Barry. I hope you enjoyed and found this video useful. Uh, if you did, do like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and that was just a quick, hopefully quick, run through of how to pair the included Bluetooth adapter with the uh, Casio Privia PXS 1100. Until next time, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.